The story unfolds in Norianjin, a city bustling with young souls yearning to study and chase their dreams. However, beneath its surface lies a harsh reality, turning this seemingly promising place into a living nightmare for the youth. The pressure to excel in their studies weighs heavily on them, leaving no room for leisure or respite, lest they face elimination. Within a quaint mini-market, a bespectacled young man named in some diligently tends to his female customers with unwavering warmth. However, his friendly demeanor unintentionally unsettles one of the women, causing her discomfort. Moreover, he possesses an uncanny ability to provide intricate details about the products, leaving no stone unturned. Unfortunately, his boss, a formidable and miserly figure, berates him in front of the customers for his conduct. While the boss reprimands him, and Sung's mind wanders into a realm of imagination, where wealth empowers him to deliver a satisfying blow to his boss, making his nose bleed. But in reality, his boss twists his neck mercilessly, leaving In Sung gasping for breath. Seeking solace and an outlet for his frustration, In Sung seeks refuge in a nearby park, where he unleashes a torrent of curses. Gradually calming himself, he checks the announcement for the results of the police selection exam, eagerly hoping for a positive outcome. Unfortunately, his registration number is absent from the list of successful candidates. The weight of disappointment bears down heavily on him, causing his spirit to plummet. In a pointed moment, Jae Seol, a fellow young man, arrives at In Sung's modest boarding room. There, he finds In Sung hunched over, lost in melancholy, and meant to offer comfort. Jae Seol reveals that he too has failed to pass the entrance examination for the police academy. Overwhelmed by emotions, In Sung tearfully confides in Jae Seol, sharing that his sadness stems not only from the exam failure but also from the recent breakup with his girlfriend, So Ra. In Sung's string of misfortunes continued unabated. Upon returning to his room, he discovered his belongings strewn across the corridor, a clear sign that he had been evicted due to two months' worth of unpaid rent. Confusion and destitution engulfed him, leaving him with no choice but to seek refuge at the convenience store where he worked, finding solace in sleeping there. However, his respite was shattered when his boss delivered a painful kick to his leg the following morning, rudely awakening him. To add insult to injury, his boss promptly fired him, withholding not only his wages, but any semblance of compassion. Later that afternoon, in some met up with Jisub to share his tale of woe. Seeking a glimmer of hope, he perused job advertisements on his cell phone. Serendipitously, he stumbled upon a position offering decent pay, requiring only three days and two nights of work. Overwhelmed with joy, he let out a triumphant scream and wasted no time in applying for the job. Little did In Sung know that the job he was pursuing was for a clinical trial called Experiment Full of Life, testing a new pharmaceutical drug. As pharmaceutical companies sought willing participants to gauge the drug's effects, In Sung found himself among a multitude of applicants vying for the opportunity. At the hospital, In Sung underwent a rigorous selection process, including weight measurements and blood tests. After spending three days confined within the hospital's walls, where his instructions were simply to sit, eat, take medication, and remain silent in Sung, along with the other applicants, was finally released. Not only did they receive their wages, but they were also compensated for their time. However, as in Sung stood outside the hospital, an unexpected wave of dizziness washed over him, forcing him to find solace in a nearby seat. Removing his glasses, he caught a fleeting glimpse of a brief blue flash in his vision. After a while, his discomfort subsided and the headache dissipated. Although a sense of suspicion lingered, he chose to ignore it and swiftly departed from the hospital. In his quest for closure, and some visited So Ra, although he remained silent in her presence. Leaving her behind, he rent his vows with Jisub at a restaurant to discuss the enigmatic circumstances surrounding their breakup. Jisub harbored doubts that So Ra may have grown close to a police officer named Gummu. The night drew to a close as In Sung returned to his boarding room, settling his overdue rent with a mix of relief and contentment grateful for the chance to reclaim his old sanctuary. Yet, amidst his newfound comfort, a wave of sorrow crashed upon In Sung's heart, reminding him of the painful reason behind So Ra's departure. As night descended, In Sung succumbed to a fitful slumber, only to be abruptly awakened by an overwhelming fever. The intensity of his fever caused him to shiver uncontrollably beneath the confines of his blanket. Seeking respite, he ventured to the pharmacy the following day in search of a fever-relieving remedy. However, as In Sung made his way home, an extraordinary bout of dizziness once again seized him, reminiscent of the sensations he experienced upon leaving the hospital. 
The debilitating headache rendered him unable to focus, to the point where a close encounter with a speeding car became imminent. Yet, in a remarkable turn of events, a flash of blue light filled his eyes, triggering an instinctive reaction that propelled him to effortlessly leap over the car's roof, narrowly avoiding a calamitous collision. Upon returning to his room, a sudden blurriness clouded in Sung's vision. It was then that he removed his glasses and realized, to his astonishment, that he could see with crystal clarity even without them. In the afternoon, in Sung made his way to the hospital for a checkup, hoping to find answers. However, the doctor assured him that he was in good health, advising him to return only if he experienced further discomfort or pain. After leaving the hospital, in Sung reunited with Ji Seob, and the duo indulged in a game of billiards. Despite In Sung's lack of experience in the game, he showcased an uncanny proficiency that left the onlookers astounded by his skills. One fateful day, as So Ray prepared to leave her boarding room, she noticed a wrapped parcel of food hanging from her door. Despite her haste, she failed to pay it much heed, occupied by an unexpected job opportunity that demanded her immediate attention. Just as she set off, she crossed paths with Gong Mu, who happened to be on patrol. Gong Mu extended an offer to give So Ra a ride, and without much contemplation, she accepted, mounting the motorbike. From a distance, In Sung witnessed the unfolding scene, his heart ablaze with jealousy. Driven by a surge of emotions, he chased after So Ra, and miraculously, his speed escalated exponentially, allowing him to effortlessly leap over a mound of garbage without faltering. He continued his pursuit until he reached the roadside where he unleashed an angry shout that compelled So Ra to turn her gaze in his direction. However, in his distracted state, In Sung inadvertently collided with an iron pole. Concerned for In Sung's well-being, So Ra implored Gong Mu to halt the motorbike, intending to check on him. As they gathered on the roadside, a heated altercation ensued, witnessed by both Gong Mu and passersby. In Sung vehemently accused So Ra of engaging in an affair with Gong Mu, while So Ra vehemently denied the allegations. She delivered a swift kick to In Sung before walking away, leaving him behind in a tempest of emotions. In the aftermath of the incident, In Sung musters the courage to return to the mini market, where he once toiled, determined to collect the wages owed to him by his stubborn boss. An intense argument ensues as his boss adamantly refuses to pay up. However, just as the situation seems hopeless, a police officer intervenes, coming to In Sung's aid and ensuring he receives his rightful wages. Empowered by this newfound victory, In Sung decides to embark on a personal transformation. He visits a salon, where he revamps his haircut, and explores a boutique, embracing a new sense of style. As word spreads of his handsome appearance, many girls find themselves captivated by his transformed image. While crossing a bridge, In Sung overhears the distressing sounds of a woman being harassed by a group of men beneath its shadow. Without hesitation, he leaps off the bridge, executing a flawless landing before the startled men. Conflict becomes inevitable, but now In Sung possesses formidable martial arts skills. Despite being outnumbered, he bravely fights back, subduing the men until they eventually retreat. The woman he rescued, named Tae Yi, becomes enchanted by In Sung's bravery and profusely thanks him for saving her from harm. The next day, while on campus, In Sung crosses paths with both Ji Seob and Tae Yi. To his surprise, Ji Seob harbors feelings for Tae Yi who happens to be the most beautiful girl on campus and the daughter of a wealthy man. In gratitude for In Sung's heroism, Taehee treats him and Ji Seob to a restaurant outing. From there, the three of them begin spending more time together, fostering a growing camaraderie. As night falls, In Sung escorts Taehee home, and in a moment of vulnerability, she confesses her feelings for him. Rather than offering an immediate response, In Sung merely smiles, leaving her with a glimmer of hope. One day, while In Sung and Tai Yi are at a convenience store, they unexpectedly encounter So Ra. Still harboring resentment towards her, In Sung decides to retaliate by feigning an intimate display with Tai Yi. Unable to bear witness to his actions, So Ra departs from the store after completing her shopping. She has yet to divulge to In Sung the true reasons behind their separation, the burden of funding her own education through odd jobs, which resulted in a severe decline in her academic performance. Upon arriving at her apartment, So Ra is taken aback when she discovers Gung Mo secretly leaving food on her doorknob. She had believed it was In Sung who had been providing her with sustenance. In truth, Gung Mo has harbored affection for So Ra for quite some time, silently watching over her even during her relationship with In Sung. However, he chose to remain silent, respecting her commitment to In Sung at the time. 
As So Rao and In Sung immerse themselves in their blossoming romance, Gut Mo consciously distances himself from the couple, focusing his energy on preparing for the police academy exams. Through arduous efforts and unwavering determination, he eventually manages to pass the rigorous test, marking a significant achievement in his journey. Meanwhile, In Sung receives a phone call from his mother, who delivers disheartening news about their family's dire financial situation. She implores In Sung to send money, adding to the weight of responsibility he feels towards supporting his parents. The following day, while dining on campus, In Sung's mind drifts into daydreams, fixated on finding ways to generate income to aid his family. Suddenly, an advertisement for a paid quiz competition show flickers across the television screen, instantly capturing his attention. Seizing the opportunity, In Sung makes up his mind to register for the quiz competition. Buoyed by his innate superintelligence, a result of the previous drug experiment that enhanced his memorization skills. Confident in his abilities, he believes victory in the quiz competition is within his grasp. On a subsequent day, in some arrives at the television station, posting the quiz competition, eager to participate in the participant selection process. Each contestant is subjected to a series of written tests curated by the show's producers. As in some receives the question sheet, a smile graces his face, for he deems the questions to be relatively easy. The quiz competition unfolds, culminating in and Sung securing first place, entitling him to a handsome prize of 5 million won. The next day, in Sung returns to his parents' home, promptly sharing a portion of his winnings with them. Amidst their conversation, in Sung's mother inquires about so absence, noting that she frequently visits their house. Choosing to withhold the truth, in Sung remains silent, declining to reveal that his relationship with so Rae has come to an end. Time slips away swiftly, and In Sung must bid farewell to his parents, journeying back to the familiar city of Morianjin. However, a peculiar sound emanates from Sora's room, alarming In Sung. Discovering her unwell and unconscious, he swiftly carries her to the hospital, his face etched with worry and concern for her health. While So Ro receives medical treatment at the hospital, In Sung assumes her work shift, ensuring she does not face the threat of losing her job. When So Ro regains consciousness and recuperates, she hastens to her workplace, eager to reconnect with Insung and bridge the gap caused by her illness. As night falls, So Ra and Insung make their way home together, sharing an apartment. Along the journey, So Ra expresses her gratitude by promising to treat Insung to a dinner, acknowledging his support during her hospital visit and ship change. Their relationship begins to mend once again, rekindling a sense of warmth and connection between them. At a later time, Insung and So Ra unexpectedly encounter Tae Yi and Gung Mo. The four of them end up parting ways, with In Sung accompanying Tae Yi, while So refines herself walking alongside Gung Mo. Consequently, In Sung and So Ra miss the opportunity to have dinner together. However, witnessing In Sung lead with Tae Yi leaves So Ra feeling crestfallen and devoid of inspiration. That very night, So Ra makes the difficult decision to enter into a relationship with Gung Mo. Overwhelmed with joy, Gung Mo revels in the reciprocation of his love. On the other hand, in Sung and Tae Yi share a meal together. Yet deep down, both In Sung and So Rae still carry thoughts of each other, and their current partners fail to ignite genuine happiness within them. One day, a mutual memory resurfaces in the hearts of In Sung and So Ra. It harkens back to a promise they made during their time together, vowing that if they were to part ways but desire to reunite, they would meet at a special place. That special place happened to be a quaint park situated on the outskirts of the city. That night, both In Sung and So Ru embark on separate walks, their paths converging at the park. A wave of serendipity washes over them as they finally reunite, eager to share the stories of the days they spent apart. In that moment, they choose to ignore phone calls from their current partners, consumed by the overwhelming desire to reconnect. Upon returning to their shared apartment, Fake intervenes once again as In Sung and So Ru unexpectedly encounter Tae Yi and Gum Mo. Witnessing In Sung and So Ru walking side by side, Tae Yi is overwhelmed with disappointment and anger toward In Sung. In the midst of the emotional turmoil, In Sung openly declares his enduring love for So Ra. Filled with annoyance, Tae Yi promptly slaps In Sung, unable to contain her frustration. Upon hearing all that transpires, Gung Mo makes the difficult decision to part ways with So Ra, further complicating the delicate web of relationships. The following evening, In Sung receives a message from So Ra, beckoning him to meet her on the rooftop of their apartment building. Upon arriving, So Ra shyly confesses that she harbors feelings for In Sung as well. In Sung's face lights up with joy, 
though he tries to conceal his beaming smile. Realizing the depth of their mutual affection, in some and so right make the heartfelt decision to rekindle their relationship. In a tender moment that night, in Sun gently kisses Sora, sealing their renewed love. Meanwhile, Tai Yi, engulfed in heartbreak, seeks solace by approaching couples at a restaurant, expressing her anguish and frustration. Her emotional outburst causes such a commotion that the restaurant owner is compelled to call the police. Coincidentally, the officer on duty that night happens to be Gong Mu. Upon recognizing the distressed woman as Tai Yi, Gong Mu swiftly escorts her to a quieter place offering a comforting presence to soothe her troubled heart. Overwhelmed by her emotions, Tai Yi breaks down in tears before Gong Mu. Moved by her vulnerability, Gong Mu instinctively wraps his arm around her, providing a gentle shoulder to lean on. In Sun and So Rei continue to share precious moments together. However, one night, In Sung is struck by a sudden fever accompanied by chilling sensations. His face even develops red freckles. Suspecting that these symptoms might be related to the experimental drug he took, he rushes to the hospital to seek guidance from the professor who conducted the experiments. The professor confirms that In Sung's current condition is indeed a side effect of the drug. To counteract these side effects, the professor offers a neutralizing drug that would restore In Sung to his original state. However, taking the neutralizing drug would mean losing all the advantages and enhanced intelligence he currently possesses. Determined to pass the upcoming police academy test, and some decides against taking the neutralizing drug at that moment. Days pass, and the time for the police academy exam arrives. Throughout the rigorous test, and some endures immense pain as the side effects of the experimental drug intensify. Suddenly, in the midst of the exam, he receives a phone call informing him that So Ray has been in an accident and urgently requires hospitalization. Faced with a difficult choice, and Sung's concern for So Ro overwhelms him leading him to abandon the exam and rush to the hospital where she is being treated. Upon arriving at the hospital, In Sung's anxiety is palpable as he witnesses So Ra's frail condition, despite his own deteriorating health. When So Ra regains consciousness, a sense of relief washes over him. However, within seconds, In Sung himself collapses, succumbing to unconsciousness. After days of treatment, In Sung finally recovers, awakening from his slumber. He realizes that he has been administered the neutralizing drug, leaving him with a sense of disappointment for missing the police academy exam. In some reverts to his previous self, donning his glasses and experiencing a weakened physical state. He navigates his days with a lack of enthusiasm. Thankfully, So Ro remains a pillar of support, encouraging and uplifting him. The film concludes with a poignant scene wherein In Sung, now a traffic guard for the children at the school, where So Ro teaches, stands alongside her. They embark on a journey together adding vibrant colors and beauty to their relationship, symbolizing the resilience and strength they have found in one another. So the moral of the story is don't take experimental drugs unless you're okay with the possibility of becoming a superhero with inconvenient side effects.